All right, so I've wrapped both pork butts. I've got probes back in them for the easy barbecue thermometer. Wrap them tight. Let me go ahead and close this thing down because the temperature has gone up since I had it open. When I took them off, uh, I did reclose the smoker so the temperature wouldn't go too high. You can do the latch, but it's not necessary. It's The Riptangle's got a real good seal on it, and this thing is over a year old, and I haven't had to replace the seal yet. Probably after this fall season, I'll, I'll do that. You can see the butts where they're probed right now. We're just under 150 degrees. And then real quick on the Pitmaster IQ, it's got a little legend down there, but if you see it blinking back and forth, it says the lid's off. And that just means that it's open, or if you have like a pit barrel cooker where you actually take the lid completely off, it'll show that. If it's bright red, it says it's high, high. the temperature's too high for whatever you have it set. I have it currently set at 250 degrees. And then if you look, the difference is there's a probe that actually, and I'm not going to reopen it. I'll show it real quick. It clips to the grate right there, so that's what's reading the temperature. And then the gauge on the rectangle is actually reading just a little over 300 degrees. But again, because it was open, it's going to act like an open barrel. It's just burning. And that's it for right now. There's the rib rack that I took out, or the hanging rack. And then I set the, the big rack that was on the side of it down inside of it. And it'll go for a few more hours. I did wrap with just a tiny bit, maybe an eighth of a cup at the very most, more closer to probably a couple of tablespoons of chicken broth with the pork butts. And I used chicken broth because that's just what I had. I didn't have any apple juice. You could use water, but um, they're pretty moist already. And then I really need to keep an eye on them because they're coming out of the end of the stall right now. And I wanna make sure that I don't let them go too far because they're gonna have a tendency to steam when they're in the foil like that. A lot of people call that the Texas crutch. Sometimes I'll foil wrap, sometimes I won't. I've done both with butcher paper uh, and foil just to see how they go. And um, they're both good. For competition, uh, we've been using foil. And that's it for right now. We'll come back once I get them off here.